Sonic Colors is still one of the best Sonic games that has been released in recent years. I mean, just look at these reviews. 8.5 from IGN, 4 out of 5 from Metacritic, and 4.5 from Destructoid. Compare that to Sonic Unleashed's reviews, yeah, not that very impressive. Plus, it was nominated for IGN's 2010 Best of Soundtrack, Visuals, and Most Addictive Gameplay in the Wii category, and it was nominated for Game Trailer's E3 2010 Best Platforming Game Award. This might be because Sonic Team took another look at the criticism of previous games. Of this list, the games that were specifically looked at were Unleashed, Black Knight, and Secret Rings. The changes included were more 2.5D gameplay, as well as the removal of gimmicks such as the sword gameplay in Black Knight, or the Werehog in Unleashed. The other change that Sonic Team wanted to tackle on was to make the game have a simpler, fun story, similar to the Genesis games. Because of that, the game couldn't be placed in the storybook series that Black Knight and Secret Rings were contained in. With that, the team decided that an amusement park would be a good theme for the game, since amusement parks were fun and lively. Anybody with common Sonic knowledge knows that Sonic having adventures in, say, Six Flags for example, would be too short due to how well fast Sonic runs around the place. That's what Sonic Team also realized when discussing the setting for the game. Then, the idea of an interplanetary theme park came into being after scrapping the terrestrial theme park idea. With an interplanetary theme park also came more creative ideas for the game, such as the Wisp or Color Power-Ups. They were incorporated because they can use the powers of other characters without having to resort to making those characters in the game. As Izuka puts it, as by now, we can essentially have different types of gameplay, but not only that, but by empowering Sonic with the different color powers. Although thinking about it, the Spike and Hover Wisp power-ups do act a lot like Knuckles and Tails respectively. And, since the game was going to be more lighthearted than the previous Sonic games, Sega hired Ken Pontak and Warren Graff, writers of Mad World and Happy Tree Friends. Funny thing is, the writers aren't really big Sonic fans or even know Sonic that well in general. During the writing of the script, they had to look up cutscenes of previous games on YouTube in order to get a feel for the characters and the world. Are you guys ready to see what a Sonic Colors HD might have looked like? Well. I have the graphics toned down a bit since, well, my computer can't really record and play a high performance game like this at the same time without some limitations. Still, I gotta say it's probably more HD than the original Sonic Colors was on the Wii. Sonic, speed test 47. There's fast. And then there's Sonic fast. Take off the high speed hedgehog is back. Zooming across ceilings, drilling through floors, and rocketing into the sky. Sonic Colors, faster than a speeding you know what. Available now, rated E for everyone. Hello, everybody! Welcome back to the playthrough part of the Speeding Through History series. And so, now that we're done with. Uh, a very controversial game. We're gonna go. T we're now gonna move on to the level that's based on the game that I think everyone likes. Like, let's face it. It's. I already said in the video. It's like one of the most beloved. Like, it's already the top most rated like Sonic games. Like, before generations, it's one of the most top rated Sonic games since. I'm probably guessing Sonic Three. Because I think Sonic Adventure had some mixed feelings. I think the Sonic Adventure series had some mixed feelings about it. But anyways, uh, but anyways, let's enter the level here, which obviously is everyone. Welcome to Planet Wisp, everyone. Oh my goodness, it's HD. I know, I can't believe it either. Sonic, Sonic Colors in HD. You know, to be honest, I actually want Sonic Colors in HD, but then, um, I don't think Sega would ever do that nowadays, because, the, because them relying on kind of the so I keep on running into spikes today. Speaking of spikes, here's the Spike Wisp, which is, which in the original game made Sonic be able, 
made Sonic able to spin dash. Which is kind of fitting for Classic Sonic because he already natively, well, spin dashes. Although I will say it is kind of tricky to control because I have... That... Thank you for putting me in front of an enemy! Really? Uh, this is gonna be a drag to record on because... These levels, because Planet Wisp especially starts getting absurdly long, especially in Act 2. With Modern Sonic, for some reason, in Modern Sonic's portion of Planet Wisp, it's absurdly long. Like, it feels long, and it's... It feels really, really long. Maybe it, maybe it is long, but I don't know. But any, it still takes, like, a really long time to finish, like, Planet Wisp, which is why it's probably a level I don't usually go back to in Sonic Generations, because it takes a hell of a long time to finish one level. Can I? Thank you. Also, we got some, uh, Son- I think- I believe Sonic 2 enemies? I believe they're Sonic 2. Were they- Hmm, I think they're from Mystic Ruin Zone. I can't be too sure of that, though. Oh! Okay, um, okay, we're going down here now. Um, where's the Wisp? There it is. I have nothing to speak about! <laughs> It's just Planet Wisp! And we're just spin dashing to win! Um... I got hurt in fire. Even though I had Wisp power-ups. What? I- I thought- I know Wisp aren't supposed to make you invincible, like, I don't know, supersonic or something, but... You would think they would make you invulnerable to, like, something as simple as fire. <laughs> So I guess I should talk about Sonic Colors. Now, I have no idea what to talk about! Sonic Colors! It's a good game! Go play it, if you still have a Wii at this point in time. Although, if you still have a Wii, that technically means that you would probably be a Nintendo fan. Because at this- because I'm suspecting everyone either sold off their Wii or is- or it's basically rotting in a dumpster somewhere. Well. It could be rotting in a... It could be in a, uh... Garage 2, I guess, but still... What? Still, when was the last time, like... When was the last time everyone was playing with their Wii's? Like, 2000... Like, 2006? 2007? That was a long time, and Sonic, can I... This is annoying. Uh, so, the thing about... The thing that's annoying about the... Spike Wisp is that it never... It's that it sticks to everything, even things that you don't mean to stick onto. By the way, the slow spin dash. There we go. So yeah, classic Sonic. Um, nothing much. I will say that the... I will say that uh, what I do... What I do hate about uh, the levels in aesthetics is that um, in Classic Sonic's portion, I don't believe you spend nearly enough time in the wilderness as you do in the factory, because the wilderness was pretty... The wilderness part of the level was pretty short, and after that, you're just... I keep on forgetting that I'm not invulnerable. Um, anyways. Noobish commentary! Violence! I don't know. I seem to be running into a lot of hazards today. I do not know why, and hopefully I do not die. Okay, I swear, if I'm gonna die here, that's gonna be just flat out sad. Um... So anyways, uh... What the f- I DON'T KNOW WHAT TO TALK ABOUT! SONIC, GO UP! Oh, for- Oh, for F's sake. No, 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 no. Spin dash in the corner. Get back up here. Because apparently a spin dash is more powerful than a string. Oh, uh, this is the annoying part. No! No, oh, okay. No, so Sonic, get the- Get the- Get- Please! 
Classic Sonic. Please get the hover wisp. Or am I not doing this right? I feel like I'm not doing this right. Physics! They work in Sonic Generations, maybe. Ah, uh, I hate this part because it's so annoying to just get the wisp alone. After that, it's not so bad. Just gotta go up here. And. Okay, that works. Oh, I thought I was gonna get hit by that missile. Um. Great. Just. Um. Level! Doesn't make sense. I'm running out of. Wow, I'm running. I'm really running out of ideas to talk about today. Focusing! <laughs> uh, after this, I'm not doing Let's Plays. Even if it kills me. This is only special. Please. Okay. Sonic is just barely enough just to duck out under these missiles. Um. Okay, that's weird. Uh, don't activate it here. Activate it now because it's going to. It's going to hit me. I don't, there's a red ring, but I don't care about it. Just go all the way up here. No, no, wait, 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 wait. Hold on. Maybe we should just talk about Sonic Colors. I have no idea what to talk about. Um, Sonic Colors. For anybody who's a Sonic fan, you should go play it. There we go. For anybody who's a Sonic fan, you should go play it because it's an actually good game. Also, technically, it's the start of Sonic. It's it was the stuff of Sonic's good games until uh, Sonic Boom Rise Blue came along and said, "Nope, we're, the fun is over. We're gonna we're gonna make bad games again." And again, Sonic Boom Rise of Blue is made by another company and not Sega themselves. So I don't I don't I don't really put too much harsh on it. I don't really, p although I'm not really too harsh on it because it's made by another company. Even though, okay. <laughs> even though the um, even though the company is con consists of like ex Naughty Dog employees who work on stuff like Crash Bandicoot. I don't put too much. Uh, I don't be too harsh with it because you know it's a new com it was a new company and they literally didn't they need to get stuff off the ground so and that unfortunately backfired on them so yeah how long has it been? how long is how long is this recording anyways I swear I hate I hate Planet Wisp because of how absurdly long it is no get get the get a ring I hate I hate this level <laughs> for how absurdly long it is, and I can't wait to do more. Excuse me. No. Ah. Frustration. I didn't want speed juice. No. No. <laughs> ah. Frustration! Why? This is the only reason why I'm being silent here and not trying to think of something to talk about. Is because excuse me, what? I didn't die from that, and yet I get hit with the ring, and yet I lose rings anyways. This doesn't make any sense. Okay, can I go up there now? That's fine. I'll take that. Jeez, how long is this recording already? Unfortunately, my recording software doesn't show me the time, so I can't really tell, but I already know that it's or I already know that I would probably be on on Modern S I would already probably be on Modern Sonic's portion already What wait, oh, okay, I was wondering about that Finally the end of the level with a bunch of missiles 
Wait, where are they? There they are! Although one of them looks like it's gonna hit that generator over there that's holding the planet together. Jeez, that was 10 minutes! Ah, uh, I hate... I hate Planet Whisper how absurdly long this is. I know I already said that, but whatever, we... We already cleared part, part of Planet Wisp, now we gotta do... Now we gotta do the really long parts. I'm not a, I'm not looking forward to this at all. Due to how long it is. And... According to my track record of commentary, my commentary consists of I don't know what to talk about and um... Although, it will say, look at all this pretty! Yes, it's lagging, but I do not care. It still looks better than Sonic Colors was on the way. Like, much better. And of course, we got some Mr. Cave... Uh... Mr. Cave Zone enemies here, and I missed the Sonic Adventure... Sonic Adventure... Rocket... R rocket? That's not a rocket. Um... Cannon! I commentate very well. I can also play video I can also play video games very well. Oh dear. Okay. But that is gonna die. Just homing attack all over these guys. And make sure that you see the reticle, because I swear sometimes I accidentally die here. Also, this was in the original Sonic Sonic uh Sonic Colors. That this river of purple stuff. And I'm gonna call it that because that's what it is, purple stuff. Ever seen those old Sunny D commercials where they say we got soda OJ purple stuff? That's the purple stuff right there. It came from Planet Wisp. Now go drink it. <laughs> now I'll go drink my Sunny D with Sonic, I don't know. Remember, I'm pulling. S Remember, I don't know how to commentate. <laughs> okay, go up here. All right, we're going to top that. Never mind. Guess we'll just take the cannon instead. Meanwhile, the frame rate's chugging out like crazy. And here we have the Rocket Wisp from Sonic Colors. Um, I meant to hold it, but okay. And here's where the level gets absurdly long when we enter the into the factory. This will take me ten minutes, probably the fastest, if I somehow, if I end up clearing this level faster, I'm going to be amazed. Because I never cleared this level under 10 minutes. Nope. No, I don't want to get hit. Okay, what you do is you hold it down and then... You get hit by missiles! Fantastic! Oh. Well, I usually... Well, I usually do good in that part, so I don't know... I didn't even... I didn't even duck. What the... What is going on in this recording session? <laughs> Okay, Sonic didn't even, like, Sonic didn't even go kneel down and drift and comment commentating. I swear. <laughs> this is the worst comment. This is so bad. <laughs> so bad commentating. Because I don't know what to talk about and it's so hard to focus. No, no, just go, just go, just go. Don't charge it. Otherwise, I'm gonna get hit by the missile. Unfortunately, that was not enough. This level is so long. I don't hate Planet Wiz per se, because I like it, but then because it is one of my favorite Sonic games. It is in... It is a level from one of my favorite Sonic games, but the problem is that it's super... I already said it's super long. Like, super long. Okay, I needed to focus there, otherwise I would have died. And I'm gonna die anyways. <laughs> of course! First death! Let's see how many- let's see how- 
If it gets above five, I'm gonna keep a counter. Okay, don't boost here. Because I'm gonna die. And we here we have a bunch of egg pawns from Sonic. They What game did they first appear in? I believe it was Unfortunately I think it was Shadow the Hedgehog that they first appeared in. And that makes me sad. Unless Sonic Heroes came out unless Sonic Heroes came before No wait, Sonic Heroes came before. Never mind. Sonic Heroes was the first game Egg Pawns came in. What you're gonna do is you're gonna homing attack and then ride this minecart. Boost if you want to, but I prefer not to because I end up killing myself. There we go, that's how you use rocket. You charge it up, then you build... You charge it up and you build thrust and then you... Although I don't really know what's the point of rocket here because... There's a roof up here and how did I get hit by the... I got hit by the slowest moving projectile! Or the most, like, still moving projectile ever. Oh, okay, there's a... I didn't know there was a light there. Okay, did you hear that? There wasn't any sound effect there of the egg pond exploding. D did you hear that? What to talk about? <laughs> Sonic colors. So, anyways, Sonic. Okay, there's something going on. There's something seriously going on with the sound effects right now because. Every time I hit an enemy, it's not even like making the sound effect of the boosh when I hit an enemy. Else, um, I'm gonna ride a minecart. Oh, no, oh, okay. I'm, I'm not missing that. I paused there because I don't know what to talk about. <laughs> this is the. Uh, hi buddy, how you doing? It's really, it's a chill day here, isn't it? Well, see ya, have fun. <laughs> have fun on that minecart. <laughs> that was weird, but okay. You gotta bust through the... Thingies, I don't know what they're called. Gates? They're not really gates. No? Luckily, um, I believe a faster way of the way <laughs> you can make this level shorter um but you have to utilize like you have to utilize the rock wisp at like correct times otherwise you're gonna miss uh you're gonna miss a shortcut otherwise you're gonna miss shortcuts and then you won't and then you'll be able you'll be able Wow, my commentary is so bad right now. It's like not even funny at this point. Basically, you got to use the you got to use the rocket wisp at the correct points in order to gain access to shortcuts. Otherwise, this level's going to go on forever. Unfortunately for me, I don't usually know where those shortcuts are. And here's Here's another part of I, I hate about Okay, we just had a few seconds stop there. Maybe the level needed to load. Here's the part I hate about the Planet Wisp level in Sonic Generations. You see that? You see that? Um. You see that girder coming down on us right there? The one that was at the beginning? Yeah, it's gonna come down and squash Sonic like so. You can't use Rocket to push it back up. Obviously, you need a. F <laughs> really? Wow, that was the most biggest thing ever. You can use rocket to push it back up, but you've got so much of a limited time. And apparently, I died, even though the rocket, the rocket symbol was right there, and I somehow what? Okay, that that doesn't count as a death. That was just bull. I'm sorry. That 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 didn't count. That was just unfair. So anyways, use rocket, use the rocket wisp to push up, to push back up the girder that's crushing you. Other than that though, of 
find these trails of rings and then rock it as soon as possible, otherwise you're gonna get crushed. And there's another girder that's coming down on us. You don't see it now, but believe me, it will come down. Again, like I already said, use the rocket if you need to. But it should be easy at this point to get a rocket wisp because they're really close by. Also, I hear the I hear the end of the stage finally also. Am I gonna beat this under 10 minutes? Oh my goodness I am. It's under 10 minutes, guys! Woo! New record for me! Ah, uh, but that's still a B. That's still a B. Oh well, nothing I can do about that. And thus we have restored all of Planet Wisp and the most annoying character I hate in the Sonic franchise. Here he is now. Well, not now. Never mind. Dude, there's the emerald! And this classic Sonic has learned the boost! And the most annoying character in the Sonic franchise, in which I hate. Uh. I was scared because somebody took me, but now I'm free! I'm a free bee! Free bee! Free bee! Whee! Oh, hey! Yeah. I hate Charmy. <laughs> it's like I'm with Sonic on that part. It's like what? It's like what is with this guy? So anyways, in the next part, we're going to be taking on Silver. We're going to take me on Silver or it's no use. We're going to be taking on the Silver boss fight as well as if I Okay, where's Silver? <laughs> I keep on getting confused here. I keep on getting, like, confused on where the boss fights are, because... This... No, that's not where Silver is. Where, where is he? <laughs> Silver, we're up here! You... you marijuana head. There he is. So anyways, in the next one, we're gonna be taking on... This... We're gonna be taking on the Silver boss fight. And I'll be doing uh, the challenge gates off screen. And I'll be taking care of the challenge gates off screen. And we'll, next time we're going to do the silver boss fight. And the egg dragoon boss fight as well. We'll see you guys next time.